In today's video, we're going to be reversing RTL, Validate Unicode String, as part of exercise number 5, page 35 of Practical Reverse Engineering. I've already got it and everything set up, so let's get started with Windabug. We're going to type in UF, RTL, Validate, Unicode, String, hit answer, and we can see the disassembly there. I'm going to click on this little button. Uh, to open up a scratch pad, I'm going to um, attach it to the top there, and let's scroll up to the start of the function. Um, let's start by defining our function, so we don't know its return value yet. We know it's called RTL, validate Unicode string. Um, we see a sub 28 hex from RSP. The next instruction says to move rdx into rax rdx would be the second argument there so we know this function takes at least two arguments we don't know their data types so let's define them as unknown arg1 and unknown arg2 and we'll define a local variable we'll name it local1 is equal to arg2 the next instruction we see is test ecx with ecx so ecx is going to be that first argument if uh, arg1 we see the conditional jump if it's not equal. So let's put in the exclamation point there and let's see where it jumps to. We see move this hex value into EAX. I'm gonna copy that hex value into EAX. We're gonna write local one is equal to this hex value, semicolon at the end. Then we see a jump add 28 hex to RSP and a return. So we can write return local one. That's a little messy, so let's just rewrite this. We're just gonna re simply write return that hex value, get rid of this. Um, we don't need our curly brackets. So let's remove those. All right, so let's go scroll back up to the where we were at, the start of the jump, which is here. If we don't meet that condition, we'll move 100 hex into EDX, which is argument two. So argument two is equal to zero X 100. The next argument says to move RAX, which is local one into RCX, which is argument one. So argument one is equal to local one. Then we see this call to RTL Unicode string validate EX. Let's see if we can find the function definition. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste that in. So we see this call to RTL Unicode code string validate EX. We know that arguments are passed in passed in at into RCX and RDX. So RCX would be argument one and EDX is argument two. Then we see this add 28 hex to RSP and return. So we can simply do return whatever uh, we get back from this function. Let's remove, well, let's leave this here for now. Let's start um, refactoring. We see this, this if statement, arg1. We know we have these two passed in. We just have to figure out which is which. This is our return value. Hold on, let me copy this. And let me paste that up. Let's figure out what this is. So if we go back to MSDN, we scroll down, we see this valid status and valid parameter. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna Google it, which is this status and valid parameter. So I'm gonna copy that, go back into when debug, and we're returning status and valid parameter here. We know this takes in a D word and a PC Unicode string. I'm gonna assume that argument one is the D word. D word, D word flags. And the reason why I think this, because of this instruction here. We could check if a valid R, uh, string or Unicode string is passed. Mm, it might be. But the way we're loading argument two well, let, okay, let's just remove this. 0x100 hex. It's this this instruction here that makes me think argument 2 is this uh, string. Because we see move 
r dx into r ax, and that's passed as the first argument to RTL Unicode string validate x. So logically speaking, we're simply passing argument 2 here. Because we're setting argument 1 equal to local variable 1, and local variable 1 is simply local variable 2. So this is what I think the function originally looked like. Paste that into here. Remove this. Um, argument one is D word flags. Get rid of this instruction here. Well, these two commands. Uh, get rid of this comment. And then refactor this argument to source string. And this is what I believe the function originally looked like. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.